Morning everybody, welcome back. It is Boxing Day and I'm off to ride some trials. I'm full of cold, I'm up to here with Turkey, but I'm full of the Christmas spirit and this should be a good laugh. We're at Norwood, which is muddy, so I anticipate it's going to be a mucky one, but it should be loads of fun. So let's go and have a great time. Hope you had a fantastic Christmas and uh, got everything that you wanted and Santa was good to you. Right, here we are then, Tevisal. Um Gonna be muddy and perfect. Lado has just come up to me, my mate Arv's just come up to me and gone, what tyre pressures you're running, all that sort of stuff. So we've had a look. He reckons this one needs turning around because it's nearly gone. And he reckons he'd have got rid of that weeks ago. Brilliant, just what you need for a super, super muddy trial. Love it. But I've entered on the white route, nice beginner route, it's Christmas in it, you know what I mean? I really want to get on that yellow, but not at Christmas time. Not at Christmas time. So let's go have some fun. My mate Ash didn't realise it started at 10, so he's not here. So it might be just me solo, so I'll try and make friends. Second one, our first one. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say do that, are you see? <laughs> well, I did do a little intro when we started because it was carnage of people everywhere. But this is mental, absolute mud bath. First section down, I dropped two. Should have been one, but I was scared. But yeah, mud, mud, mud bath. Look at the state of this. <laughs> oh, baby. Absolute mud bath. All right, close up, double chin cam. I'm doing all right doing all right people um it's taking forever for me to get around like but we're getting there um riding okay few silly ones but about to go up a big big hill Having double chin gallon. You're having double chin cam again because I've just had the clean of my life. Up regret gully. I'm gonna have to I'll film it next time just to show you, but that will good that. Woo! So it was at this point I decided to do you a little bit of a lap rundown. So um through here I've done 11 marks so far. I just rode the absolute mud bath that I told you I'd clean, loved that section, and then I got going on this. So that was a tricky little thing, but this is what I've been practicing because this is where I'm crap. This is where I really struggle. Um, and then watch this, boom, there. Just a little bit, that's what I mess up on. Just that little bit too much throttle. I lost the back end and job done. And then onto section five. This is one of the easiest ones, um, or easier should I say. It got a little bit slippy, but as long as you like hammered it early enough, it was all right. It was just like third gear, all in, just go for it. Uh, section six made a bit of a chunker of this one, to be fair. I think I dropped two on it. Just got a little bit overexcited, but I went on to clean it the next round, which I was very, very, very happy with. This is what keeps happening, I keep getting lost. I hope you know where you're going. I hope you know where you're going, because I'm, I'm lost. Here we go. Hi, mate. Section seven, love this one. This is this is what I need to be practicing, you know, getting off and um, getting it done. So just weaving in and out. So I got this corner every single time, which I was really pleased with. Little jump up here, little bump of the front wheel, and then around this top corner, which I've been doing quite well, quite tight. And then I managed to do a really good job of this one, cleaned it on this lap, so that was good. But around here, got a little bit slippy there, but managed to get around it, and that was an improvement on the lap before, where I dropped one on that last right corner. So yeah, pleased with that. Um, this was just fun. This was easy, nothing complicated. It was just third gear and then just hold it open. It was actually loads and loads of grip. It was just fun. Just rawr, all the way to the top of it. Love that. Yeah, sure, you see. 
it's sections like that that make me feel like I, I want to move up a route, but then, you know, other things are easy. This is a this was also a doddle just up a straight hill. Go wide here, turn left, up the little bank, but super, super easy. So it's things like that that really make me want to move up a level. Um, I need to do it at some point and just embrace that it's going to kill me. I'm going to I'm going to drop loads of marks, but I need to do it. This was cool. Um, difficult this. Really steep down there. GoPro not doing it just this. And then I ran the front tire as wide as I dared, really. Around the top corner. And then, again, it's just about getting the power down as quick as I could. Oh, pick a line, either right or left, didn't really matter. Did this well um, for a couple of laps and then made a right mess of it later on. There you go, now you can have some double chin cam action live. So that's two down, road right. I'm not like, I'm not saying I'm tearing it up. Don't get me wrong, I'm not tearing it up. But I've had some really, really good rides. Really good rides, like, big improvements going on down here. All this practice paying off. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I've had some really, really good rides today. Stuff that not long ago, I would have absolutely lost it on. And I'm not. The conditions aren't easy, so I'm buzzing, guys. I'm buzzing. It's a great day. Oh, there's a big queue. Big queue. Have a look at that. Everyone must have stopped for a cup of tea. Remember I told you that there was a section that I cleaned out the ride of my life, this was it, intimidating me loads, but I kept the power on the whole time, didn't lose grip, moved my body well, got around it, clean baby. Did a really good job of this, was chuffed to bits. All right, that's three laps down. Let's see if I can get this to stand up. There we go, so three laps down, riding well. I'm happy with myself. You know, it's difficult, it's muddy as anything. I've just gone sideways up a hill. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that lap two that I did, or back end of lap two. Um, as you can see, it's a lot of fun. So I've got one more round to do. I'm gonna try and whip round it clean. It's not gonna happen. And then I might stop at section 10 and watch the drama unfold as everyone else tries to get up here. So yeah, it's been a good day. Very, very good day. Um, Ash and Mark, you missed a good one. So last lap, I didn't want to like bore you and just go through another lap, but basically the conditions got a little bit worse. It got a little sloppier, but all was good. But I did my classic thing of sort of fading, losing concentration. I don't know if it's a mixture of con losing concentration or just, you know, conditions, but I dropped loads, dropped something like 13 marks in the last lap. Not happy, but here we go. A little compilation of the actual good riders. So this is Tim Pulley, Cameo Moto, great shot. Um, and the other experts just doing this. And when I watch these guys, I realize just how much they move around on the bike. I mean, that's a pro like MX rider, but yeah, they move around a lot. And whenever I see myself ride, I'm, I'm like a great wooden thing on top of the bike. So yeah, just timing it, time, bike time. But yeah, you know, when you see this, you remember that even the experts drop a mark here and there, even the experts who make everything look easy, make a mess of some things. So, you know, it makes me think there's there's hope for me yet. Yeah, just got to keep grinding, baby. Nice. Well, I forgot to record. Forgot to record an outro. Um, that was mega. Really enjoyed that. Lots and lots and lots of fun. Some stupid errors from me, but whatever. It's all about progress, not perfection, isn't it? And I am definitely getting better. So that was lots of fun. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like the video. Drop a comment on here. Tell me I'm rubbish. Tell me whatever you want. But anyway drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already um, thank you all so much have a fantastic new year and i'll see you in 2024 see you in a bit